God did not give us the spirit of fear. We ain't scared of no guns. We ain't scared of no knives. Hey, the, the, the prophets in the Bible, they was persecuting the kid for his word. All of God's chosen people. Right. Now we was in rulership during King Solomon time, King David time, even the dark ages. But what happened to us? We fell from that great estate that we was in. Right. Now God sent his prophets out here to restore what was broken, to restore what was fallen. Right. But like the brother was bringing out, Christ is going to come back and give us power over the nations. Right. And we that in Revelations. Bring it out. Revelations chapter 2, verse 25. Bring it out. Because it's time to come out of that lost state that you're in and come back as you men, as gods on the earth, right, right. and you women as princesses on the earth. Right. Read. Revelation chapter 2, verse 25. Right. Right. But that which ye have already, uh -huh. hold fast till I come. So this Bible is what we have. This Bible and God's law, statutes, and commandments is what we have. So we have to keep these law, statutes, and commandments. Read it again. But that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. So Jesus Christ, this is written in red. When something's written in red, what does that mean, sis? When the scripture is written in red, what does that mean? You don't know? Ah, right, that's bad. Do you go to church on Sunday? See, what do the preachers do? They do not teach our people the basics of the Bible. Yeah. Okay? Which is the law, statutes, and commandments. Right. Read it again. Revelation chapter 2, verse 25. When there's something is written in red, sense, because we are teachers now. We are teachers coming out here to teach you the Bible. Okay? The true understanding of the Bible. Right. When something's written in red, this is Jesus Christ, our Messiah, speaking. Right. Read. But that which ye have already. But what we have already, which is the Bible, we hold fast till I come. Hold fast unto this when, when, until he come. So God does not say hold on to the Quran for those of you who might be in Islam. He does not say hold on to Egyptology, thinking that we Egyptians. We are not Egyptians. No. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. No. No. Verse 26. Uh -huh. And he that overcometh. So if you overcome your sins, you must, you women, start wearing pants. When you overcome that and start wearing dresses and skirts, you men, when you, you sagging, because that's a sin according to the Bible, we're going to get that, but we don't. When you overcome these sins, single parent households, you men not taking care of your kids. Right. You, you women not teaching the kids. We got, I'm going to get in there. We got young girls doing spritz on the sidewalk. We and keepeth my works until the end. The works is God, law, statutes, and commandments. Right? right? To him will I give power over the nations. So that person, that man and woman, Israelite man and woman, that keep God's commandments and overcome this world, they sins until the end, he's going to give power over the nations. That's right. But do you think Christ is going to give power to a people that don't know how to raise up their kids correctly? Bring it up. Do you think Christ going to give power to men that don't know how to set their house in order? Right, right. Huh? No, he's not. Give me that in Leviticus 19 and 29. You feel your parents. Because, like a lot of how we get single parent households, where does that come from? It comes from the mother, fathers and the mothers teaching their sons and daughters wrong. And then when they grow up, they're going to do everything against what God says. Right. Read. Right. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 29. Uh -huh. Do not prostitute thy daughter right out. to cause her to be a whore. How do you prostitute your daughter to cause her to be a whore? Brother right there in the blue jacket. How do you prostitute your own daughter to cause her to be a whore? You don't know? Look, look to your left. You see these little young, young daughters? These are the daughters of the living God. That's right. But they're not going to be raised up correctly as the daughters of God if the parents don't teach them correctly. Right. right. Read it again. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 29. Uh -huh. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. These parents are prostituting these young little girls to cause them.
them to be a whore? How do they cause them to be a whore or a prostitute? Making them wear pants? That's against God's laws. Right. Guess what? These young girls, like the brothers bringing out earlier, that's going to put a spirit on these, these men who might have a pedophile spirit to lust after these women. Right. These young little girls. Read on. Read it again. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. And guess what? When they get into high school, how do they, how do the parents, especially the mothers, prostitute? Hold that. Get uh, I said three and twelve. Hold this right here. How do the women prostitute the young little girls to cause them to be a whore? Cause that that's what they're doing splits for. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Read that. Isaiah chapter three, verse twelve. Isaiah chapter 3 verse 12 yeah. As for my people As for my people The so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans Because y'all are the Israelites according to the Bible Y'all are the only ones that's God's people Read Children are their oppressors How do children oppress us? Bring it out Help me out Brothers right here Brothers right here sit now How do children oppress us? Children oppress us Because when they grow up, they look for uh, uh, a safety. They look for comfort because the parents not doing a good job raising them. They re yeah, I'm get I was getting to that. They come up in gangs. That's how children are process. Now when they're in the gangs, they the ones in your house is stealing your stuff. They the ones that's commit black on black crime, killing your own sons and daughters. That's how children are process. The white man ain't even gotta do that no more. He just sit back. Drink his martini and watch watch our people kill themselves. Read it again. As for my people, uh -huh. children are their oppressors. Read. And women rule over them. So the root cause of children being our oppressors is when there's no pet, no, there's no fathers in the household. Read. There's no fathers in the household. Now you have the women raising up the kids. The Bible says the woman cannot raise up a man. A man has to teach a young boy how to be a man. Right, right. So when you, when you have a woman in the household raising the kids by herself, she's teaching that young boy to be effeminate. That don't mean that he's sleeping with other men. Effeminate means, oh, you slept on my shoe, now, I'm, now I got to kill you. That's effeminate, emotional. Right. Read. Oh, my people, uh -huh. they which lead thee, those women which lead our people, lead these families, read. Cause thee to err. They cause them to err. They cause the kids to err. How do you cause the kids to err? Go back to Leviticus 19. Bring it out. Go back to Leviticus 19. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 29. Uh -huh. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. So how they cause them to err? They prostitute them to cause them to be a whore. When they get in high school, back to the point, when they get in high school, what do the mothers a lot of mothers really do, or a lot of kids to do, or are supposed to take part in. Cheerleading. And when they do cheerleading, what do they do on the floor? They jump, do backflips, with little mini skirts on, right. which is yeah. not modest according to God's laws. Yeah. They do splits. That's what you see right now. That's what the sister, young, young little girls was doing, doing splits on the sidewalk in front of all these men. Yeah. That's causing them and prostituting them to cause them to be a whore. Yeah. Where their parents at? Where their parents at? These little girls are supposed to be in the houses, having a close watch over them. Right, right. Not out in the neighborhood for every man to see them do splits. Yeah. What the hell is this? Give me that. Uh, Sirach 26. 26 and 8. 26. Verse 8. You know, give me that. Because our people is doing a horrible job of raising their kids. What? Bring it verse 26. Yeah, start at verse 8. So, uh, chapter 26, verse 8. Uh -huh. you know, a uh, drunken woman and a gather abroad causeth great anger. Uh -huh. And she will not cover her own shame. So, you pass, you women, if you read again. A drunken woman uh -huh. and a gather abroad. A gather abroad, that's a woman that's always out in the streets, never at home. Bring it up. 
You're supposed to be a Titus II woman. A woman that's in the home, taking care of the house. What? Loving her husband, loving her kids. What? These women out here don't love their kids. They're causing them to wear pants. They are, they are, they are allowing their young daughters out in the streets doing splits. We causing great anger. Uh-huh. And she will not cover her own shame. So now the daughters are not covering their own shame. In the streets doing splits. Sh shaking it behind. Be why? Because the mothers was doing the same thing. We. The harm of a woman may be known in her haughty looks so, and eyelids. So a, a woman may be known in her haughty looks and her eyelids. Her look says wear pants. That's the attire of an harlot. Bring it up. That's Proverbs chapter 7, verse yeah. 10. The attire of a harlot is wearing tight pants, wearing tight little dresses and skirts, right. like these cheerleaders do. Read. So what? Chapter 26, verse 10. Uh -huh. well, if thy daughter be shameless, uh -huh. keep her in straightly. So guess what? These young little daughters that's out here doing spits on the ground, they are shameless. They have a behavior as being shameless. The parents are supposed to keep them in their homes. And guess what? It, it don't only start with the mothers. It start with the men. Right. You men, y'all supposed to be teaching the wives how to govern the household. Bring it up. When you're not there. But we obviously see that the man not in the house at all. Right. We. Lest she abuse herself through over much liberty. So you giving these young girls much liberty. Now they out here doing all guys knows what. Right. Then when they get older, now they sneaking out the house to go lay with a with a, with another little boy. Right. Cause y'all not keeping them in straightly. Y'all not following God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Right. Really? Verse eleven. Watch over an impudent eye. So watch over that daughter that that, that might be sneaky. That might be too high in the behind. We. Really? And marvel not if she trespass against thee. So if she trespass against thee, that's because you're not keeping an impudent eye on her. Right. She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he hath found a fountain and drink of every water near her. You know what I mean? Because your parents not taking care and not teaching these young girls correctly, what's going to happen? They're going to go out and, and, and talk to every brother and sleep with every brother. But watch this part. Read on. Read on. By every hedge will she sit down. By every hedge will she sit down, read. And open her quiver against every arrow. Brothers, what does that mean? Bring it out. What do y'all think that means? We need to get. She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler uh -huh. when he has found a fountain. And drink of every water near her. Yeah. By every hedge will she sit down. By every hedge will she sit down. This is a daughter who's not keeping in straightly. Who's not in the house. Who's not acting as a woman. What? But she's out doing God knows what. Read. And open her quiver. Open her quiver, read. Against every arrow. What does that mean? What? what does that mean? What? There you go. She opened her head to every quiver. You know what a quiver is? Over her quiver, that, that means her private area, to every arrow. That arrow is a penis, just to be direct. Got to give it to y'all direct. That's what you do not. That, really get, listen close, sis. Listen close, sis. Listen close. Because you probably wasn't listening. You was working on the Sabbath day. That's against God's laws. That's a good. Read it again. Chapter 26, verse 12. And I hope these are not your daughters out here, sis. Because we have to do a better job as parents and leading our kids correctly. Read. She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he has found a fountain and drink of every water near her. By every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow. 
That's because the, the parents are not teaching their kids correctly. Yeah. Hey, and the right. daughters are going to go out and sleep with every man. Right. This, this is the Bible we're reading. Bring it up. Read on. Is that it? Yeah, that was a little cool. What are you at? Oh, matter of fact, give me Deuteronomy 6. Deuteronomy 6 and 1. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 1. Oh, so what are you supposed to be teaching your kids? Are you supposed to be teaching them sports? Are you supposed to be teaching them BET? Are you supposed to be teaching them sitting them in front of the TV and watching that little housewives? That's right. Them women on there, them not to take care of them, man. You know, those women on there, they don't know how to take care of no kids. Right. Me. Deuteronomy chapter six, verse one. Right. These are the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments which the Lord your God commanded to teach you. So these are the laws, statutes, and commandments, and the judgments for breaking those laws that God is going to teach us. We that ye might do them in the land whither ye go to possess it. So right now we're in America. The Bible calls America Babylon the Great. We're in Babylon, America, right now. So we're supposed to be teaching God's law, statutes, and commandments. That's right. To who? Read verse 7. Verse 7. Uh huh. And thou shalt teach them diligently. What, what did the Bible say you're going to teach to your kids? Let me see if everybody listen. What did the Bible say you're going to teach to your kids? There you go. That's right. Listen. Right. So these are what we're supposed to teach to our kids. Now, one of the law and statutes and commandments was a woman should not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. You know? And modesty. That's not wearing pants, wearing dresses and skirts. That's loose, that's modest. They go by your knees and down below to your ankles. You're supposed to teach that to your kids, to your young daughters. Now, for the men, what are you supposed to teach to the men? Hold on, give me 2 Samuel chapter 2, verse 4. Because a lot of brothers, like your brothers over there, I, I ain't seen y'all yet. But I'm pretty sure some of y'all over there doing it. Watch this. What does the Bible say about sagging? Hold on. Brothers, right here on the uh, porch. What does the Bible say about sagging? Because I know, I know grandmothers, mothers, they used to teach us to tell us, but pull up your britches. Right? Am I correct, right? They used to tell us that, right? Does the Bible support what our, what our grandmothers and Grandfather's taught us. Let's see. Second Samuel, read. Second Samuel, chapter 10, verse 4. Read out. Wherefore Hannon took David's servants uh -huh. and shaved off the one half of their beards. So Hannon took one of David's servants. Hannon was an Ammonite, or, or what you call a so called Japanese today. Read it again. Wherefore Hannon took David's servants uh -huh. and shaved off the one half of their beard. Because what you men, what y'all probably don't know, it is a law for the men of Israel to have beards on their face. Right. Right. You're not supposed to trim the corners of your beards, mark the corners of your beards, meaning your natural line. Read. That's why you see all these men up there got beards. Read. And cut off their garments in the middle. So they cut off their garments in the middle. Read. Even to their buttocks. So their garments was cut off in the middle, even to their buttocks. So what was showing? They behind. What do I mean? Read on, read on. Let me and sent something. them away. Uh -huh. When they told it unto David, uh -huh. he sent to meet them, because the men were greatly ashamed. Nah, it's a style to sag my pants. Greatly ashamed. Nah, that's the style now. I go hard. Greatly ashamed. The men of Israel in the Bible, when we was in our in our kingship, we was ashamed to sag our pants. <laughs> but what you got now? You got gangsters, so-called gangsters, that sag their pants. That that's not according to God's law, statutes, and commandments. <laughs> but guess what? Where they learning from? From TV. From the older men, because you got men in their forties, fifties, sagging their pants. Right. We see that now. Now go back. Second, well, go back to uh, Deuteronomy six. These are what you're supposed to be teaching your kids. Read Deuteronomy chapter six, verse seven. 
7. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto, the, unto thy children. So you're supposed to teach God's laws diligently. Does that mean you teach them for a little bit and you let them go do whatever? No. You teach them diligently day and night unto thy kids, unto your children. Read. And shall talk of them when thou sittest in thine house. Like we got a sister right here. She was not taught correctly. Says, going in the house. You're not supposed to be wearing that. You're a princess of God. Right. You're supposed to be wearing modest dresses and skirts. Right. That is against God's laws. The parents not teaching us correctly. You can see it all throughout the neighborhood. We. And when thou walkest by the way. So when you walk by the way. What does that mean? Somebody help me out. What does that mean when you walk by the way? Anybody know? What does it mean by you when you walk by the way? What you say? When you walk by the way, that means when you're walking down the street. Or today's term, when you're walking to Walmart or something. Women are not supposed to wear pants, correct? So when you see, when you're walking with your daughter, and you see other women that has not been repentant yet, and you see them wearing pants, you're supposed to teach, hey, baby, you see that right there? That woman wearing pants? You're not supposed to wear that. Right. That's against God's laws. Right. Because guess what? Uh, we men over here, we're teaching our daughters correctly. Right. Yeah, that's right. I, we, sometimes, we don't have to say nothing. Our young daughters are saying, oh, daddy, that's, that's nasty right there. God don't like that right there. Oh, daddy, she wearing pants. That's, right. that's going back to Romans 12. Renew in the spirit of your mind. Transform your mind. Right. We have to transform these kids' mind to God's law, statutes, and commandments. Right? Right. And when thou liest down. So when you lie down, or oh, go back to uh, when you walk by the way. When you see, when you're walking with your son, you're supposed to raise him up to be a God on the earth. Right. Right. You're supposed to raise him up to be a king that he is. Kings don't sag their pants. Right. Bring it out. Guess what? Y'all are kings. Why are you sagging your pants? Right. God did not ordain that for you. You learned that from America. America taught you to sag your pants. Bring it out. We. And when thou liest down. So when you lie down to sleep, you need to, you need to, that means you can give your kids stories in the Bible to, to show you, like in 2 Samuel 10 and 4, and show your kids, look, it's a sin to sag your pants. The women of the Bible never wear pants. You teach that to your kids while they're going to sleep. Get them stories, not get them. Jack and Jill went up the hill. They catch a pail of water. No, I'm the dumpy. Fell on, had a great big fall. But is that learning? How the dumpy had a great big fall? Is that going to teach you how to be a king? Is that going to teach you how to get to the heaven? Yeah. Is that going to teach your kids how to how to be how to raise up? To be better fathers. Bring it up, bring it up. Is that going to help us? Hey, guess what? We keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. Nothing going to touch us. Nothing going to touch us. Give me, give me, give me, uh, Second Timothy chapter one verse seven. Cause we ain't no little church boys coming out here. We come out here to show you that you're God on the earth. We come out here to show you to put you back in the kingship that you're supposed to be. Bring it out. So you don't care about being the king. You you what? You don't care what we're talking about because you're not listening. Just listen close to what we're saying to you. We on. Second Timothy chapter one verse seven. Uh -huh. For God have not given us the spirit of fear. So God did not give us the spirit of fear. That's right. God did not give us the spirit of fear. We ain't scared of no guns. We ain't scared yeah. of no knives. Right. Hey, the, 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 the prophets in the Bible, they was persecuted and killed for his word. Yeah. 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 What? So what for? So what for? Bring it's it 27. Y'all better understand something who we are out here. Who y'all supposed to be. We are here to show you a better example. You don't got to smoke no weed. Then we leave you your stress. You don't got to smoke no cigarettes. Just keep God's commandments. You can follow your temple. Right. Read this. So I chapter 4. Verse 27. 
So what? Chapter 4, verse 27. Bring it up. No. Mm -hmm. Is that uh strive for the truth under death? Yeah. 28. Read. So what? Chapter 4, verse 28. Uh -huh. Strive for the truth unto death. What does the Bible say? Strive for the truth. Unto death. So we are here to strive for the truth unto death. Yes. We are here to teach you that you are Israelites according to the Bible. Right. Right. We are to tell you you guys chosen people and you're not niggas. Right, right. You're not spirits. You're not queens. You're not nobodies. What did you can't say? You're not super predators. You're gods on the earth. Yes. Right. And we are to tell you that unto death. Whether you hear or forbear, we and the Lord shall fight for thee. And what going to happen? And the Lord shall fight for thee. Yeah. Because what a lot of our people don't understand and say, oh, well, I'm going to go do that. I'm going to go get this and come back. You better not be there when I come back. You don't understand what's going on. We got angels around us right now. Yeah. Right. Angels that you cannot see. Bring it up. Whether you will believe it or not. We are walking in the steps of our forefathers. That's right. What did God say? We got brought apart again. And the Lord shall fight for thee. God is going to fight for us. That's right. We don't need a U.S. Army to fight for us. Right. We don't need no army to fight for, us. fight for us. We are the army of God. That's right. We got angels behind us. We got angels surrounding us. We ain't scared of no guns. Go back. Do the army six. We Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 7 we And thou shalt teach them diligently Unto thy children Teach God's laws unto your children we And shalt talk of them When thou sittest in thine house So when you walk When you walk by the, When you sit in your house You teach that to your kids Your kids not supposed to be on Game Boy Playstation Xbox all day long uh, Open up this Bible Crack open this Bible And teach God's laws to your children That's right Let Shoot, what you can do, you can create games for your children according to the Bible and teach them the laws like that. Right. You don't got to have no Xbox. Read. And when thou walkest by the way. So when you walk down the street, you teach the laws to your kids. Son, don't say. You see all those people fighting over there? Hey, you're not supposed to hate your brother. You're supposed to love your brother. Love your sister. Read. And when thou liest down. And when you lie down, read. And when thou rises up. So when you wake up in the morning, don't go back to the Xbox again. Teach your kids, hey, ask them some questions about the Bible. Breaking news tonight. There has been a staggering number of black and Latina teens missing in the area. A 12-year-old black boy was shot and area. killed outside. A young black a woman was arrested for a traffic police. violation. A black was man was shot and killed in, in the car. Just three days after the, the police seat. replaced her. The aftermath was aired live on Facebook. Wake up, Israel. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, Israel. Wake, wake up. up.
I'm a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's sound man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.